In this video, we're gonna talk about mini cuts, why you probably don't need one, why your mate probably doesn't need one, and when you should actually be using them. We are Dan and Mike from Biceps and Banter, and in our videos of 5 Minute Fitness, we try and cram in as much training and nutrition help in five minutes as possible. So if you like this sort of content, don't forget to subscribe. So today we're talking mini cuts. Are we? You want a mini cut? I am on a mini cut. I've, I've not spoken about it. You've not, yeah. You've to not be fair, I haven't that much. Not really. But we thought we'd talk about it because it's actually quite useful oh, information. what is one? What is a mini cut? It is a period of a fat loss phase, so where you're going to tighten up your calories, mm -hmm. maybe increase output with the goal of reducing body fat. I'll we use it in a context of a longer period of time. So the aim isn't a big fat loss, it's just a short kind of tidy up of fat loss before you then go back into a maintenance or a gaining phase. So you just bring your body fat down as quickly as possible, short, sharp, get in, get out, and then carry on. Over, over a gaining phase, over say six months, nine months, you might gain a little bit of body fat alongside muscle tissue if you're eating in a slight calorie surplus. It's gonna happen, it's inevitable. Yeah. Some people get a little bit unhappy with potentially going too far away from where they wanna be. So one of the best things you can do is to tidy that up so go for a quick fat loss phase as low calories you can probably stick to reasonably for a period of time of say four weeks with a little bit of cardio thrown in potentially you don't have to but some people do with the goal of maybe losing a kilo a week maybe sort of five kilos six kilos depending on how how big you are you'd probably lose about six kilos in four weeks comfortably mm. given your size not having to go at you by doing that you're going to lose a decent amount of body fat in the shortest period of time possible to then go back into a gaining phase you wouldn't do a mini cut and then be like now nah, i'm going to carry on cutting that's just a cut it's not mini yeah. The whole point of it is it's a short space of time you go back to doing I'd what say, you're doing. I'd before. say usually what? You say two, maybe two's not enough, three weeks to six, I'd three say. Three to six. I think it, it, it depends cut. on how long you've been gaining for and how yeah. long you're going to gain after that for. Yeah. So don't do a mini cut after 12 weeks of gaining. It doesn't work like that. Like you need to be gaining for a considerable oh, yeah. period of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do not want to do 12 weeks of gaining then diet for six weeks. Like, it's pointless. You, you, you'll diet off any of the appreciable amount of muscle that you've yeah. just gained, like, which will be negligible in 12 weeks. Give yourself enough time. A mini cut should be where you're right at the top end of where your body fat should sit where you're feeling maybe a little bit uncomfortable in clothing maybe where you just visibly don't look too good clothes might not start to, to yeah. look great because you're going to have other things like estrogen might get a little bit higher at that that body fat level insulin sensitivity uh, ins insulin sensitivity might not be as optimal but again mm, the best way to deal with that is to diet it's a diet yeah you drink. don't need to worry about checking it or anything like that yeah. you just know if you're carrying more body fat you're probably slightly more insulin resistant than somebody else again yeah. not resistant fully because you're not diabetic but it just means that you might want to just get a little bit leaner then your sensitivity to carbs will go up and you can put a little bit more food in and then grow again then theoretically by the next time that you hit that weight you should have because you've dieted the body fat and hopefully retained the muscle have gained a little bit more muscle by the time you get back to that point so you've got slightly less body fat and slightly more muscle by that point with the gaining phase as well there'll come a point where you kind of start to feel a little bit uncomfortable potentially with the body fat you've gained and and if that happens at say 12 weeks then you maybe have gone too hard on your calorie surplus or you, you weren't lean enough guys. to start off with or or yeah, you should have dieted first before you went the other way. But there is an element of a gaining where you will be a tiny bit uncomfortable with potentially how you look and the fact you're not as lean as you have yeah. been previously. And you have to be okay with that. Like we're talking about the with body fat, we're talking about getting to a level where you're really uncomfortable, but you've also been through a significant mm. period of gaining. Like you've noticed you've gained mm. muscle. If you just feel like you've got fat, you've gained no muscle, you probably need to check check your training intensity. Probably the calorie surplus you were in could have been too hard, uh, too high, and maybe your dieting, you could have just gone all in and gone yeah. fucking crazy. Over a sort of three to four year period you should be spending more time yeah in in a muscle gain phase and a dieting phase yeah. if you're not you're probably doing something wrong you need think to about think it if you want to get bigger and you're spending more time out of the year dieting getting smaller how can you practically get bigger how it's not gonna happen you must by default have got to spend more time gaining than losing right yeah. to get bigger so but most people will just diet yeah and, and diet get, half the year and gain, try, then, then go crazy we'll diet, for summer. Yeah. Yeah. We'll diet for yeah diet for the summer uh, and I'm not okay. Yeah, and then even if you take it a step further, theoretically, you might end up looking worse year after year because during that six months diet for a shred for summer, you might lose some muscle. And then if you're that inconsistent and sporadic in your off season, you don't give yourself time, enough time to train. Mm -hmm. You then fucking go a little bit too hard with your calorie surplus and and have through little diets in that six months of, of gaining because you're trying to tidy things up. Like you might not actually gain any real appreciable amount of muscle back, and then you'll diet again.
again the next year and then lose a little bit more. So you could get worse from year to year. So mini cuts are useful when used alongside a proper gaining phase or protocol, whatever you want to call it. But the reality is you probably- Always call it protocol. Always call it protocol. The reality is mini cuts are great, but you probably don't need one if you're thinking oh, after 12 weeks, I need to go on a little diet or you're not lean enough to begin with to start a gaining phase. Our advice would be always make sure you get lean first, then start building muscle from that point gradually over time. Then you might need a mini cut, but the chances are you probably don't need one right now. So that was five minute fitness. If you want to see us do a topic that you want to hear about, put it below. Also give us a subscribe and let us know what you want us to talk about. Don't forget to share this with a mate as well. Tag a mate who needs a mini cut or even just a fat loss phase.